Good morning, Ramsey families. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's waking up, having breakfast and some coffee or tea, and maybe dragging a little bit today. I'm a little tired after the night of storms. I was up from like one until three. So I know I'm not alone because I see the Facebook book comments coming in. But let's power through, go to bed early, get back into a routine tomorrow. Uh, let's start our morning with the morning announcements. All right, everyone, put your hand on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next up, we have the RAM Pledge. Today is a new day. I pledge to show in every way respect, appropriateness, maturity, to all my Ramsey family. Ram fam! Okay, boys and girls, it is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020, and the weather today will be a high of 68. It's currently 53 degrees. It's cloudy and overcast, but it looks like the sun's going to peak out today. So with that nice temperature at 68 and the sun shining, get out and run around today. Enjoy the weather. All right, everyone, let's go on to uh, National Calendar Day. Today on April 8th, we have National All, All is Ours Day. All is Ours Day. And what that day is, is a day to celebrate and reflect on the things we're grateful for, the things we have, the things we appreciate. So I summed it up after reading a little bit about it in th with three words. It's a day to reflect, appreciate, and share. So if you'd like to read for yourself a little bit more about the day, go ahead and put that curiosity cap on and do your own research online. It's also National Empanada Day. This is a Spanish and Portuguese dish. It is usually a stuffed like pastry or dough. Um, I know the empanadas I've had have been stuffed with meat, like seasoned meat, but I don't know, it could be, they could be stuffed with anything I would imagine. <clears throat> and then, it's also National Zoo Lovers Day. And so I looked this one up as well, and I actually saw, which goes along nicely with a self-care tip of the day, um, a coloring page that could be downloaded. So I shared that here on the screen. If you wanna take like a screenshot of it, um, and you could either digitally color it, or if you have a printer at home, you could print it off and color it. Um, but it's a National Zoo Lovers Day coloring sheet. So there you go. And that is a good segue into the self-care tip of the day. This is for kids and grown-ups. Color. I know that um, a few years back, the adult coloring books became very popular as like a way to be mindful and to reduce stress and anxiety. So it really does allow your brain to kind of focus on something peaceful and um, you just kind of take some time to disconnect your thoughts while you work on and focus on coloring. So the self-care tip of the day is to take some time to color. Your educational tip of the day is to chunk the work. And what that means is don't feel like you have to sit and power through everything at once. Just commit to chunks of time, 15, 20, 30 minutes at a time, depending on your age and your ability to you know, sit down and, and focus. But it's okay to say, you know what, I need a break, or to plan a break, work till that time, and take that very dedicated and planned break to chunk the level of work that you're doing throughout the day. So that's your education tip for the day, chunking, and your self-care tip is to color. Boys and girls, your writing prompt for the day is, is this. I want you to think about if it rained food, if it rained food, what would you want the forecast to look like? So basically forecast, it's a bigger word. It's a weather word. It just means what is um, being predicted to fall from the sky. Um, so what would you want to have fall from the sky if it was food? Go ahead and write down what you wish it would rain and why. And Finally, we have our joke of the day. What did the science book say to the math book? 
here's the punchline. You've got problems. <laughs> yes, math is different these days and it is a book full of problems. So I hope you enjoyed that joke. I have a quick little story to share, but I'll let you go if you don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm from a family of jokesters. That's why I'm sharing. Um, overnight during the storms, my back porch um, got blown around. I had patio furniture on there and a potted plant. Um, I'm growing a little baby fig tree and it's just one year old now and I brought it out over the weekend and I was, I'm excited to see another year's worth of growth for my little fig tree it's in a ceramic pot. Well, the fig got blown off the table last night. <coughs> so I texted my family this morning um, and showed them a picture of the fig um, toppled over and needing a little bit of TLC. And my sister and my dad replied back with fig jokes. My sister said, go figure. My dad said, I thought the storm was a figment of my imagination. Guess not. So I thought that that was a funny way to try to brighten my spirits about something that I was disappointed with. So enjoy that little story. Enjoy your day. Get outside once it gets sunny. And if you are as tired as me, just push through. Don't mess up your routine. Push through, go to bed early. Have a wonderful day. Remember at Ramsey, we're respectful, appropriate, and mature. <laughs>